welcome to Everyday Fitness. I am Phoenix Tremaine, and this is Basic Stretching. Before you do any type of exercise, you really need to stretch your body because stretching allows you to elongate the muscles so you can get more oxygen and circulation you know, into the muscles so that they can grow better, faster, repair, you know, and build and do all the things that you want them to do. So we're going to do the basic stretching. We have all different types of stretching. I'm going to be showing you lots of different styles, lots of different types of stretching. So, you know, because exercise can get boring, stretching can get boring. So we're going to be changing it up. I'll be teaching you our different types of stretching techniques, as well as the other trainers on the uh, show. They'll all be teaching you uh, different types of stretching techniques. And um, this is the first one. And it's the uh, basic stretches that I do for all of my clients. The first one that I teach them is when you stretch, you go straight up and you elongate and you count 10. Everyone is 10. If your muscles feel extra tight, then I want you to give it a little bit more, okay? So you may want to do 15 or 20, depending on how tight your muscles are. But you want to start up and you want to count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you want to bring it straight front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you want to take it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, and I'm going to take a second to show you this, when you go, you take it, and you pull, okay, alright, the next one is across, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, a lot of my clients have trouble with this one, because sometimes just looking at it looks a little strange, you're just bringing the arm over here, come across your chest. You're going to take this one, go behind the elbow, and then you're going to pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next one, you want to go back, so you grab your elbow and just bring it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, I'll show you from behind, you want to go and you want to pull and you just want this hand just to dangle, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, and you want to just kind of shake it out, loosen it up, you know, you just stretch your chest, your arms, your shoulders, your back. There's another one, I want you to grab the wall, have your palm facing out, and I want you to hold on tight, Now I want you to turn, and you're going to feel the stretch come across here, so just hold on to the wall, corner of the wall, anything, not like this, like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you want to do the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can feel it all across here. And you should feel your chest stretch out. Okay, so now we're going to go down and we're going to uh, work on the legs. We're going to get some good stretches with your legs. Um, a lot of people neglect the legs, but you really want to. You know, do your legs too. You want your circulation throughout your entire body. Okay, here we go. We're going to take this foot and point it this way. This point and put it this way. And then we're going to go down. Hold on. And you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you want to come front. You want to bring it down. You're going to feel this all in here. One, two, three, four, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, this one is a little tricky. Um, this has caused customers to almost tip over and fall, but it's a very simple move. You take your foot and you turn it around and you lean in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to take it and do it all again on the other side. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here we go. When you're on this side, this foot is flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you want to turn that foot straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're on this, uh, I'm on a cushion platform, but hold on to the floor, stretch your right legs out as far as you can go. Breathe. Breathing causes you to go even lower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it in. Okay. Here we go. Um, that's your basic stretches. My name is Lynn Blackman Crone. Thank you for joining us uh, from Everyday Fitness for Everyday People. We have Bob Crone here and we're going to get into some abdominal basics. We're going to start off with the ab wheel. The ab wheel is an old throwback, but it's a good one. And we're going to show you a couple options. We're going to show you a uh, beginner's version, and there's also an advanced version. So the beginner's version, uh, you're going to come down onto the mat, you're going to be kneeling, and you're going to have the wheel right in front of you as shown here. He's sitting on his feet right now, but what we're going to do is we're going to roll out and stop. And that's just for beginners, but you want to make sure that you're breathing throughout the entire exercise in a fluid motion. So the idea is to roll the wheel out and extend your arms, and you want to make sure you're breathing through the entire exercise. And when you pull in, you're going to feel the contraction through the abdominal region. You want to continue to roll out as far as you can and hold and back. Again, this is the advanced version. For beginners, you're just going to roll out to what is comfortable for you, and you want to do as many as you can until failure. We're going to show you another trick for advanced. You're going to roll out, but you're going to go to the right and then to the left. So we're going to go to the left first. So you want to roll all the way out to the left. Pause, and then come back. Bring the wheel in, and make sure you're breathing. And again, for this entire exercise, you're also on your knees, and you can bring your uh, heels off the ground if you'd like. And you can do one more. Great. And bring it in. Good work. All right. I'll take that from you. The next one we're going to do, you're going to lay on your back. All righty. You're going to lay all the way down. And we're going to do uh, alternate crossovers. So straight leg crossovers. So you're going to take your opposite arm and opposite foot. So you're going to have the hand there on the ground, and you're going to take this one and touch the opposite foot. And as you bring the other foot up, you're going to make sure you breathe out. So exhale and inhale. Really contract with the abdominals. And we're just alternating, so we call this the alternate crossover. Again, you want to do as many to failure. And you do not have to rush through it. So you're going to pause on the way up and blow out. Don't forget to breathe. Good. Couple more. And one more. <laughs> Phoenix, my
Tremaine, and this used to be me. I thought being a firefighter would help me get in shape. Instead, I just steadily gained more and more weight, and something had to change. I took control of my life, and I lost 46 pounds in four months. Soon after, I started a personal training business, opened a private gym, and now starting the TV series Everyday Fitness. So if you need personal training or you want to learn how to get in shape for life, I'm ready to show you how I did it. Watch the online TV series Everyday Fitness, or if you're in the Baltimore area, you can make an appointment for training at my private gym. Thank you. 
It does. Normally, you you may want to stop. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. And um, for me, one of the things that uh, happened, I was in a car accident. My I was in an accident in my truck, and it caused me to have an injury on my um, shoulder blade as well as uh, my um, right leg. And so I had a lot of problems going up and down steps. Mm. And I remember, sort of almost like you didn't cry, <laughs> but I remember, uh, you know, my gym is downstairs. Okay. And so going up and down the steps was like, ugh. Right. Looked like you climbed the mountain. Right. You're doing like, like 15, 20 steps, but it's like, ugh. Right. And then you stop halfway and go, right. this is, you know, I can remember yesterday when I used to go up these steps and... You know, it was nothing. And now, you know, you got to crawl up the steps Stop. and, yeah. you know, you got to take breaks. And then right. eventually got to the point where I could run up the steps and okay. steps again. And um, the biggest problem I had was... Just starts to melt on the bread. There we go. Right. We're going to take 
take some of these resins, put them right up on top. Just give you a little variety here. And we already have the red pepper flakes on top of our vegetables, but again, you want to season it to your liking. So I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. And for those that don't like to mix the chicken and the cheese, you can just avoid the cheese and just do chicken. Or if you just want a vegetable option, then just do it with the vegetables and the cheese for the added protein. And we're also going to put a drizzle of the glaze on. And there, and there you have it. So we have here the grilled chicken with the vegetable. Uh, red pepper flake, drizzle of the balsamic glaze, and um, the flatbread. And this is going to go along with our meal. So enjoy.